This episode of Approach the Bar is sponsored by the Eastern United States Dance Board Championships held February 14 through 17 in Boston, Massachusetts. Compete for the title and come for the fun. Welcome back to Approach the Bar with Dance Beat. I am still here with the lovely Miss Charlotte Jorgensen and we are going to continue discussing what happened at the recent US Pro Standard National Finals in Orlando, Florida. So, let's see what happened. So, we have new US National Professional Standard Champions, Victor and Anastasia. They won every dance. Congrats, guys. So, what do you think? Well, I've watched Victor and Anastasia for many years now, and it's so funny that without mentioning anything, Victor is a great competitor. And I always like him when he's chasing. I like him better when he's chasing and fighting for it than when there's sort of an assumption, let's say, that, that he is ahead of all the couples and he'll have a certain result. And similarly yesterday, of course, there's a quality to be worthy of being crowned champions, but I like him when he's chasing. I really like him. If he can if he can find a way of bottling that energy and take a swig of it whenever he's dancing and just always be chasing and competing, even if, let's say, he has a, a certain, somewhat certain chance of, of being the champion. Um, I, I love her. She is a very organized girl on the floor. She's connected. She, she does a lot for him. She's sort of one of those girls that, yeah, you can see why the ladies don't often get so much attention, but obviously I'm a female dancer and she definitely allows for him to do a lot of stuff that otherwise wouldn't be possible. She, she has a huge part in this partnership. Um, so they had a good performance. Um, they dealt with the floor as best they could, like everybody else. You saw them having their struggles also. Um, but definitely, f as far as I'm concerned, were the winners. And, um, and I bet you have the honor dance to show, haven't you? Oh, yes. And, you know, you said she allows him to do what he wants. Watch this honor dance. She allowed, allowed him to do everything that he wanted to do and a little bit more. <laughs> but definitely worthy US champions and good luck to them in, in the future. Well done, guys. Once again, cheers. Brother, once again, almost 30 years. And we've never actually sat down and had a real conversation like this. No, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It is. So a couple of things that I took away from this. First of all, all these rhythm and Latin couples that have no balance uh, uh, and have to stick, uh, I'm going to use the word crap on the floor, it's, it, it's very selfish because it can screw everybody else up. And these poor ballroom couples, uh, they did struggle a little bit last night. Definitely, definitely. Um, it's just that, you know, you have to figure out how to be balanced without just needing that and also be considerate of other competitors too, right? So uh, there was definitely something going on there. It could also have something to do with the humidity here. So there are other things that could factor into how the wood reacts, but, but. <laughs> no buts, please don't put stuff on the floor. Um, it's been great to actually sit down with you Thanks. and uh, get such a, an educated answer to uh, all my questions. It really, really helps me. Um, and, and obviously you look great as well, so, uh, but I've always thought that since I was two years of age. So guys, um, you know, www.dancebeat.com, log on, find out what's going on in the dance business. And once again, Charlotte, thank you so much. I'll see you pretty soon. So cheers, everybody. Mwah. Probably the best thing ever to come out of Denmark. Mm, and I hope Carlsberg don't sue me now for using their uh, <laughs> for using their trademark title. <laughs> Ta-ra! This episode was sponsored by the Eastern United States Dance Board Championships, February 14 through 17, 2019, in Boston.